Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss Comvault Process Manager, Comvault Services, TCP ports used by them, etc. Please like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos and you can follow us on Instagram. Convault services are used to communicate and transfer information within the computers in a ComCell environment. Services are automatically installed and started when you install a ComCell component, like file system agent, media agent, etc. You can view, manage, and configure Convault services to fulfill your requirements. As soon as you install a component, you can view the services for the component using the Process Manager. On Windows, it is available in Start menu, Point to all programs, under Convault, you see the Process Manager. For Unix machines, log on to the server with root user, and run the command, Convault space hyphen all, space list. This will display a list of services running on the server, similar to this. On Windows, you can also view the services from either Computer Management, or by running services.msc, from Run Window. Let's review all the Convault services that are so far available. Here is the list of Convault services that we have recorded. You see the service name, to which instance this service belongs, and the service description. We hope you might have got an idea, to which component which service belongs. Now that we are discussing services, let's discuss the ports used by them. Not all services defined here use ports, only a few of them use it. As seen, there are some ports reserved by Convault, and used by Convault, the rest all would be dynamic ports. Convault TCP ports can be statically, or dynamically assigned. Several services used by the Convault software, listen for incoming network traffic on predefined network ports. The ComServe, Media Agents, and iData Agents within the ComCell communicate with each other through these ports. Essential services are automatically assigned, registered static port numbers during installation. Media agents, iData agents, and other software components can use the same default static port numbers, or any other static port numbers specified during installation. Port 8403 is used as tunnel port when you configure one-way, or two-way firewall in Convault. If required this port can be changed. Ports 8800 till 8900, will be reserved using bind to open ports option. Dynamic ports are opened and closed by the running Convault software, to permit certain types of transient traffic. The CVD service dynamically uses available free ports, to communicate during data protection and data recovery jobs. The system dynamically assigns a number of free ports to be used by each job, to allow parallel data movement. After the job is finished, if no other job is pending, the dynamic ports are released. If you have a firewall in the network, then there are specific ports that need to be open. We have put the links in video description for your review. One point to note is, port 8402 was used by EVMGRC, that is Client Event Manager, but Convault removed it, so we presume it is CLMGRS, Client Manager Service. Let's get back to Process Manager. If you notice, the Convault services are grouped, and tagged with a name. These are some of the service groups that we catalogued. Under these service groups the services are aligned. 
You can stop and start services of the particular group. Please note, if base services are stopped, then all other dependent services will also get stopped. Let's check what service is aligned under which service group. These are the services tagged under particular service group. Please go through them. We tried our best to cover as much as we can. Let's discuss how to manage Convault processes in the Process Manager. From the Process Manager, you can view processes and information about each process, such as the CPU usage and memory usage. Click on the Processes tab. From here you can view the process name, the process identifier, PID, number, that uniquely identifies a process while it runs. CPU and memory usage, thread count, handle count, and the process start time. When you open Task Manager and select Details tab, you see either same or similar information. As you see there are duplicate Convault processes running, and this could be either you have multiple Convault instances configured and running on the server, or you have issues with the process or server. Please note, for some processes like CVD, CVFWD, CVMountD, and few select others, only one process runs on a given server or machine. If you see more than one entry then you can kill one, by right clicking on the process and select kill process. For troubleshooting purposes you can also collect the process dump by right-clicking on the process and select Dump Process. Let's discuss a live issue which happened as use case, and we are taking Media Agent for discussion, but this can happen on a client as well. In this case, you see the Media Agent is not responding well to backups, in the sense, Media Agent is online but backups are not progressing. On the Media Agent server, Using the Convault Process Manager you have stopped all services. Once you stop the services then, no Convault processes have to be seen running. But, from the Process Manager, Processes tab, we see one CV Mount D process still running with PID, 13488. We launch Task Manager. And from the Details tab we see. 2 CV Mount D processes running with 2 PIDs. Out of the 2 PIDs, 1 PID is a stale entry, and that is with PID number 12092. We tried to kill the process using the process manager. We received an error saying the process cannot be killed. As the PID 12092 is not visible in the process manager, the only way to try to kill it is, by using command line interface. So we tried to kill both the PIDs using command prompt in administrator mode. As you see we could not terminate the processes by any means. Then we took the process dump by right clicking on the process, and selecting dump process. The process dump is also saved in the log files directory, so it can be easily uploaded to vendor FTP. Process dump is very much useful for deep investigation. After we took process dump, we rebooted the media agent. After working with vendors, we learned there were issues with RAID drivers, causing issues with disks, and any processes on those disks are freezing, and getting affected. Once the RAID issue was fixed, there was no Convault process issue seen. Let's discuss process logs in the Process Manager. Click on the Logging tab, to view the logs created by the process. A log file contains timestamped events, useful to understand the activity of a process, and to diagnose problems. Here you see five columns, module name debug level, file size in MB, file versions, and debug weight. 
By default all of these are set to default and can be customized as needed. By double clicking inside the cell in the row of the module, you want to update. Debug level limits the type of log entries that appear in the log file. Type a number from 1 to 99. Events that appear in the log file are categorized from 1, most important to 99, least important. File size, in MB, sets the maximum megabytes for a log file. Type a number from 10 to 50. When a log file reaches its maximum size, the file is rolled over to an additional file. File versions, sets the maximum number of additional log files created, when a log file reaches its maximum size and rolls over. Type a number from 1 to 5. When a log file reaches its maximum size, the log file is renamed as file name underscore timestamp dot log and a new log file is created. Most of the logs have default maximum number of versions as 5, but some have 10, like CVD, Job Manager, Media Manager Prune, etc. Debug weight. Please note this setting is for developers only. This setting creates a delay in seconds before the module opens. The delay is commonly used to attach a debugging application to the module, so that the developer can find errors in the code. We will end this video here. In our next video, we will continue discussing how to control Convault services to gracefully stop before server shutdown, how to script it, and other various available options. Please do subscribe to our channel if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.